Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome to Rock and Roll True Stories. And we have some more updates regarding the feud going on between Joey Kramer, the drummer of Aerosmith, and the rest of his bandmates. So we reported yesterday that he filed a lawsuit against his bandmates, claiming that they were barring him from performing with the group this Sunday at the Grammys, as well as at the Music Cares event where the band is being honored for the first time as Person of the Year. And uh, it looks like we have an update. So there's already been a judge ruling on the matter and a judge denied Aerosmith drummer Joey Kramer's lawsuit to play at the Grammys this weekend. So the judge's ruling noted that there was such a short amount of preparation time leading up to their scheduled Grammys performance, as well as Saturday night's Music Cares event, which precedes the Grammys. And that was the main factor behind the decision. So the judge ruled given that Kramer has not played with the band in six months, and the dearth of available rehearsal time before the upcoming performances, Kramer has not shown a realistic alternative course of action sufficient to protect the band's business interests, the ruling would declare. Now, Joey Kramer will put out a statement responding to the judge's ruling, saying, Although I'm extremely disappointed by the judge's ruling today, I respect it. I knew filing a lawsuit was a bit of an uphill battle considering the corporate documents don't reference any process for a band member returning from an injury or illness. However, the band waited until January 15th to tell me they weren't letting me play at the award ceremonies this week. I can hold my head high knowing that I did the right thing to fight for the right to celebrate the band's success that I have dedicated the better part of my life to helping build. The truth speaks for itself. Ever since I injured my foot last August and went through many hours of physical therapy to heal, not once did the band in its entirety offer to rehearse with me. That is a fact. I was also sent the full rehearsal schedule on January 18th and flew to LA the next day to rehearse and I have many texts and emails stating the band can't wait for my return. That's also a fact. When I showed up to rehearse, I was greeted by two security guards who prohibited me from entering. He would go on to say the band's offer to allow me to participate in this week's Music Cares and Grammy celebrations for red carpet photo ops only is appreciated. However, with a fill-in drummer playing on stage at two events honoring our collective musical contributions, it's extremely hurtful to me. I'm a professional musician who is eager to write, return to my rightful place with Aerosmith. I want to thank the fans for the incredible outpouring of support and for sharing my goal of taking my place on stage as one of the five founding members of Aerosmith and continuing to play the music that I love. So as referenced in his statement, uh, there is an actual video which I've linked to down below of Joey Kramer being turned away at the uh, rehearsal that Aerosmith was having for the Grammys this Sunday. So TMZ obtained the video, it was from this past weekend, where Joey Kramer shows up to rehearsals only to be turned away by two security guards. And the guards made it pretty clear to Kramer that they were given orders strictly from the band themselves to not let him into the rehearsal space. So that does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know what your thoughts are on this whole matter concerning Joey Kramer and uh, his feud with Aerosmith. Uh, it seems like Aerosmith goes through these feuds with a lot of their members, most notably Steven Tyler, and then they eventually put their stuff aside and they're still able to play together as a unit. So hopefully things get worked out. But uh, also let me know if you guys are going to be watching the Grammys this Sunday. I'll probably just watch it for Aerosmith's performance, and that's about it. And if you guys have been following the news lately, there's a big bombshell about the Grammys being rigged and how certain performers have been cheated out of awards. Uh, but either way, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern for another rock and roll true story. Take care.